Hello, this is Brother Cromar from the Mads Department, and this is a supplement of the videos dealing with, dealing with inference for one proportion. And so it's basically SPSS options and commands that you need for dealing with one proportion. It's primarily dealing with creating graphs. And so first of all, I'll talk about how to deal with data entry. Then I'll follow it up with weight cases. Then pie charts and bar graphs, so, uh, bar charts. So ultimately, we're going to try to create a, a pie chart and, bar, and a bar chart. So let's go use the example that I used, or one of the examples I used in the video where it's a Proposition 8 problem where you take a simple random sample of 1,000 Californians, and out of your sample, 540 in your sample say they're in favor of the ballot measure. So in our sample, 540 say they're in favor of Prop 8 out of a, our sample size of 1,000. So we need to construct ultimately a pie chart and a bar chart to, to represent our results from our sample. So what I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to go to, I'm going to create a new data set. Okay? So here's a blank data set. So what I'm going to do, there's really just two options. They either are in favor or not in favor. So I'm just going to type in yes and no. Okay? And out of the yeses, 540 say they are in favor of Proposition 8. 460 say they are not in favor of it. Okay? And so, so how you construct this is that the first column lists the type of categories that are involved. So with one proportion, it's just two categories, yes and no. And then the second column deals with the counts within each of those categories. So now what I'm going to do, just to make it look a little bit cleaner, I'm just going to go to variable view and type in um, variable names. I'm going to say prop, um, prop 8 preference, or prep. And then variable 2, I'll just call it count. So that's the number, of, the, the, the count of the number of people in favor in our sample for yes or no. And so now, that, so now the next item I'm going to deal with is now white cases. So I'm going to take the data that I just constructed, and I'm going to do data, weight cases, and I'm just going to weight cases by count. Okay, sometimes you'll see counts when you ever get a problem uh, from your teachers, or it could be frequency, but basically we weight cases by count. We click on OK, and then we get a, a statement here that says, it's wait, now you're waiting cases by count. Okay, so then the next thing what I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to do a pie chart. So I'm going to do analyze, um, let's see, not analyze, I'm going to do graph, legacy, dialogue, pie chart. So I'm just going to click on define. And so I'm going to take my yes, no variable, I'm going to take that and do the define slices. I don't do count, I do the the uh, how I define my two categories, yes and no, that variable. So I click on OK, and then I get this graph. Okay. Now there's some other things you can do with this graph. If you double click on the graph, you get into the chart editor, and you can go to elements and show data labels, and then you have the percentages here. Automatically a property window pops up, so you can take the count, if you want to include counts in here, take the count, because it's not displayed, only percentages are displayed, you can take the count and move that up, and then click on Apply, and then you also have the counts that are right next to the percentages. So you can do that for a pie chart. So lastly, what I'm going to cover is a bar chart, which is similar to a pie chart. And basically what you can do is you can do graphs, legacy dialogue, bar chart, and it'll be a simple bar chart. That's by default. And so you just click on Define. And so I'm going to take the yes-no category again, which is Prop 8 Preference. And then I'm just going to click on OK, and then I have a simple uh, bar chart. You can also double click on the chart, and then you click on Elements, Show Data Labels. Now here they show you the counts and the, rather than the percentages like in a pie chart. But if you want a percentage, not to worry, because you can go over here in the Properties window, so that's, since that automatically appears, you can click on Percent, which is not displayed, Count is displayed, and then you can move it up, and then click on Apply, and then your percentages are listed in your bar chart. And that concludes the videos dealing with SPSS for inference for one portion.